plaintiff, Joyce Mosley, says she and the defendant had a sexual relationship. And when he asked to be exclusive, she refused. Joyce claims she has proof that the defendant wanted to be in a committed relationship, which she brought with her to court today. She's suing him for breach of contract and emotional distress. Defendant Charles Porter says Joyce was obsessed with him and they were nothing more than friends, despite the fact that they had sex one time. Charles claims once at a club, he refused Joyce's sexual advances and she started smacking him and pulling his hair. He's countersuing for slander. All right, and ma'am, you're suing the defendant, your ex-boyfriend, for $620 for a breach of contract and emotional distress? Yes. <laughs> and you're countersuing? What's I'm funny? sorry. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. You're suing... <laughs> she went crazy when you asked yeah, her boyfriend. Yeah, I did. Crazy. You're suing for uh, $700 for defamation? Yes. Y'all ready today, or...? I'm ready. Do we I'm, need a I'm, break? I'm, I'm, we ready. Oh, we we'll need a break. Okay, all right, let's start with you. Um, a little bit of background about me and Charles. Um, we were friends, really good friends at first. Um, you know, always had a good time together um, until I started getting red flags. Well, we did end up uh, in a sexual situationship. Situation? <laughs> yes. Brand new word. I just made it. Sexual Situa situationship. situationship. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. <laughs> But, um, yeah, a little bit after that, you know, um, start getting red flags. He has to be with me. Mm -hmm. and it already I, been with you. Oh, what? In an actual relationship, not oh. a situation uh -huh. Okay. But a little bit after that, red flags started getting sent up. You know, um, uh, it, I posted a video on Facebook of me and him having a good time, holding hands and everything. Um, and then I get about three or four comments from three or four different women saying that this was their man. So, you know, we wasn't... Don't they have to follow you? No, my page is public, so the... I tagged him okay. in it. So, yeah, it, it shows mm -hmm. on both sides. So. Got it. Um, so, a little bit after that, I shut the video down, but I was still a little skeptical, like, if I would have kept it up, how many more people... Did you say would've... something to him about it? Well, not really. I just screenshotted no. it. Okay. I, I screenshotted it and sent it to him, right. which I have a lot of screenshots. And he didn't respond? Well, not really. He just okay. said... You know, just take it down. He asked me to take it down, which I eventually did. So it kind of went from there. Another red flag that was sent up, the reason I said no to being with him was um, I with I, <laughs> every time I was around him, I kid you not, every time, anytime a female name would pop up, whether it be Alicia, Renee, uh, Tiffany, Amber, I don't care what type of female name pops up, he did not answer the phone. But if Brandon called, or Harry call, or any type of male name call. Hey, bro, you know, we want to go play basketball today, you know, stuff like that. So that was an instant red flag. You can't answer the phone for female. But he, he hadn't told like you he wanted an exclusive relationship, right? Yeah. He had? No. Yeah, he did. I got, I got. What'd proof. you tell him? I got proof. No. Besides okay. the fact. Well, so you was, didn't have one? Besides the fact of the red flags and everything. I know. So you didn't have an exclusive relationship? Oh, no. It was just the fact he lied about it, Your Honor. It's not the fact. Okay. I said, just be honest with me. I said it the same thing every single time. Why wouldn't just you be, be honest, honest with sir? Me. Was this the case? Why wouldn't you be honest if there wasn't an exclusive relationship? I was told. You give me your background. This woman is obsessed with me. <laughs> Since she found, ever since she found me on Facebook. She did start off giggling when she said, hee <laughs> been obsessed with me. I since thought she, something was wrong. I thought she, she found was, me on somebody Facebook. Somebody was tickling her. No, I had to look back there. because you said he was my boyfriend. I started to say, dog, go and get somebody's tickling her. <laughs> Come to find out, she's looking over there at you. <laughs> it's because you said he was my ex-boyfriend. Go ahead. She probably missed me. Go ahead. Tell me about the background on your friendship, relationship, whatever you want to call it. We, it was a friendship. It wasn't nowhere near a relationship. We met on Facebook. We got together the same day, talked, had a little something to eat, went our separate ways. After that, a couple days later, we had sex. That's when it went crazy. <laughs> we met up a couple days after that at a bar. She had a couple drinks. Then that's when she got out of line trying to give me a lap dance. I refused to take it. That's when the violence came along. Smacking me, pulling my hair, scratching my face. In the club? Right there in the club. I couldn't believe it. How'd that end? I that walked day. off. 
That day it ended because I walked off. I All right, you attack me, man. No, we never went to a you club. Never put first your of hands all. on it. Okay. We never. Went all to right. A club. So what else you want to tell me about any of these uh, Facebook incidents or the phone call incidents? Slandering my name, putting my phone number on Facebook, our messages. And the video of videos. you all being together. Did she mention to you all these other phone calls and ask you about why you weren't answering? And no, the, sir. All right, because no, you sir. never were exclusive. Did you attempt to be exclusive with her? She no. said you were asking her. No. All right. I have proof, Your Honor, so, I mean, all right, let's see right here proof. in the pudding. I put marks around it, bracket. All right. And I already knew what your trifling A did. That's why I stopped mm. effing with you. Trifling. Mind you, I'm not the one that's scared to be with you. I'm the one said H no and tried to hide my answer besides the fact you have 80 kids. No, 11, not 80. 11. I'm I didn't even see you. 11 kids? I didn't see him asking you. I see you responding to him, so okay. it appears that he may have asked. All right, let's get to the contract he breached with you. Okay, basically, uh, Your Honor, like, he's a master manipulator. Mm -hmm. um, I footed the bill every single where that we went, uh, whether it was out to eat, to bowling, um, even well. when we went to uh, the movies with mm -hmm. my friends. Um, that's actually what the emotional distress is for. But the actual case is when he told me he was a professional painter and I actually looked at my balcony and, you know, I was thinking, why not? Why would I call somebody else when I have somebody that's close to me, a friend or mm -hmm. anything that told me that they're a painter? Um, I might as well just go ahead and, you know, call him, ask him to come mm -hmm. over and paint my balcony for me. So uh, I asked him, how much would you charge me to uh, paint my balcony? He said, well, I'm not going to charge you any cash. I'm not going to... Uh, do that to you, but you what? can go buy me some shoes. Once again, I have proof. Um, I went to Foot Locker probably the very next day, just the middle of March, FaceTimed him, you know, what, what type of shoes you want? He picked out some lime green foam posits. That's what the shoes are called. And um, end up getting a matching uh, lime green book bag okay. with it too. Now, did he complete the uh, no. painting? No, always excuses. I asked him, you know, when are you gonna come over and paint the balcony? Oh, I have to go get my kid and take him to his dentist appointment, okay. So what do you want money for? the shoes and the book bag. Okay. Because it's probably worn out by now. And then on top of that, I can't even take it back to Foot Locker either, Shoes so. and book bag cost $620. Yeah, it's right here. Mm. The breakdown, I have the breakdown. No, not 620. No, 300 is for emotional distress and then 320 oh, is for the total of the shoes. What emotional distress did he cost? Well, Your Honor, we, like I mentioned, when I went to the movies, mm -hmm. once again, footed the bill and whatever. Um, went to the movies, I got a little drunk, I'm not gonna lie. A little. Um, I, <laughs> I drove my car and I asked right. him to take me to my destination mm -hmm. because I couldn't drive. He drove himself to another female's house and left me outside. Oh, and I so had I to, and I drove down the street and I had to sleep in my car, Your Honor, because I didn't want so to drive. So you did drive? N uh, no, I just drove down the street because right. I noticed I was too, okay. I was too intoxicated. So I ended up sleeping in my, my car until I sobered up. All right, let's hear uh, your defense, sir, to your failure to paint and your failure to give her her money back for not painting. We never came up with an agreement for me to start painting. She never bought me no gym shoes or a book bag. She drove me to the mall to buy it, though, as she clearly stated that I no, picked so up the gym That's not what she shoes. clearly stated. She, she said clearly picked, stated that she, she FaceTimed, FaceTimed me. And, and she said, I picked up the gym shoe because I was with no, her. No, you say she oh, drove you to the mall, though. She did. So why does she need to FaceTime you if you're there with her? That's what I'm saying. Why does she say no, that? I, I, I'm not understanding. <laughs> She said she FaceTimed. She didn't right. FaceTime me. She drove you there. Yes, and I you paid picked them out. You were right there and with And my book her. bag, yes. All right. No, and I what do you the, have there? I had a text message saying that he was going to give it back to me right. in detail. Let's see it. Text? Yes, and then it's highlighted in mm -hmm. the yellow on um, several yeah. pages, so. Tell me what you're countersuing about $700. How does name she owe slander. you? Pardon me? Slander in my what name. What does she do? Put my phone number on Facebook. Put our messages up, people commenting, saying what they're gonna do to me when I come out of the house. Why do you think she true. did that? I don't know. All right, you have yes. what she put on Facebook, yes. and do you have a uh, copy of the threat? Yes, there I saw there. Okay. And I gave you the text proving that I did buy him the stuff, and he said he was gonna give it back. Mm -hmm. Where's your phone number, sir? And the threat. It's on the first page, highlighted. Okay. 
that's your phone number. Beat it like Michael Jackson, because it ain't no, for me, free better. Ma'am, why'd he put his phone number on Facebook and, and then talk about it? I thought I cropped it out, mm. but... I say we go him up. His house up or something. <laughs> Any comment on that, ma'am? No, because it's probably under a different post, because I did not see that. Yeah, well, it's there. And I'm not used it. to somebody stealing from me, Your Honor. I understand. So. so you're not used to somebody stealing. So as a result, you do something that uh, results in a threat. Got it. All right. I'll grant you your judgment, 620, and I'll grant you yours, 700. So you therefore owe him $80. Have a good day. No, it's nothing that I have to say. He just lied about everything up in that courtroom. He probably so. missed me. It I don't miss you, actually. We were good friends. I, I miss my friends. Never friend. even... You texted me. He has 11 kids and seven baby moms. He told me this from his own mouth. That's why oh, I said he lied in that. And, and now he's denying his own kids. I hope everybody that's Great. watching this sees that he's denying his own kids. I don't need to answer that. Exactly. Thank you.